just build it. These three words can heavily motivate someone to get started on something. But other times, it begs the question, what if I don't know how to build it? What if I don't know where to start? This perspective is all too common. There is a secret to it, but y'all won't like the answer. So for now, let's focus on how you can go about learning how to program to get to the point where you can just build it. You know about the traditional advice, take a course, follow a tutorial, or something along those lines. That's not a bad way to go about it, but it is just you building something alongside someone else. A calculator app, a Twitter clone, sure, it makes you feel good about it. Like, you can show all your friends, look at what I built. It makes you feel like you're making progress. It makes you feel good about yourself, but you take away that tutorial material and what do you have? You didn't really learn anything while building that app because you didn't have to figure anything out. And if you've watched enough program videos like this, then you've heard me or plenty of other people say coding is problem solving. The languages, the frameworks, those are just tools to implement your solution to the problem that you solve. But if you aren't the one solving those problems, then you really aren't practicing now, are you? No. But to be fair, what you are doing is getting a better understanding, a better understanding of that programming language, a better understanding of how an app or website is put together, but not exactly how to do it yourself. So that's just a long winded way to say, if you have no programming experience, going through a tutorial or a course where you do build these clones along with somebody else, it's not a bad idea. Just when you go into that course, don't expect to come out of it thinking you're going to know how to just build something but with the understanding of the basics of that programming language hopefully and the understanding of how an app like that or a website like that is put together and what also isn't a bad idea when you get that website complete is to get it up and running using a shared web hosting from the sponsor of this video, Hostinger. And unlike programming, which can be kind of daunting to get started Hostinger, it is very easy to set up your website and make it live. All you have to do first is go to hostinger.com slash forest, auto completed just like that. And you just come on down here and choose your web hosting plan. I chose premium shared hosting because you can have up to hundred websites. You can have free email, you have a free domain and you get Google ads credit as well. You get whichever one you're most comfortable with, but premium shared hosting, that is the one for me. I'm going to choose 48 months. It is less money per month, but whichever one you do choose, just make sure you come down here, have a coupon code yes, because my name, F-O-R-R-E-S-T, you add that and that'll save you 10% in whichever one you choose. Put in your information and check out. And from here, setting up a site is very easy. Just click on hosting, click on setup, click on start now. I'm creating a website for myself. It will be a portfolio site and I'm a professional website creator. We're just going to set up a WordPress right now for ease of use. I'm going to click continue. I'm going to click any particular theme that you may want. I'm going to choose this vlogger theme and then choose the domain in which you want to add it on to. Make sure you choose your server location appropriately. USA NC is closest to me and finish setup. Boom, and we are live. And the HPanel itself is just very intuitive and easy to use. If you haven't finished setting up, it'll let you know exactly what you need to do. Everything, as you can see up here, and when you go to hosting, you can click on manage a site, and you have everything you need to manage any particular website, email domains, website files, databases, so on and so forth. So if you need very good hosting at a very good price, use hostinger.com slash forest, link in the description, and don't forget your coupon code forest for an extra 10% off. Now remember what I said, going through a tutorial or a free course that'll give you understandings of that programming language and how to put together an app or a website is not a bad idea. Just don't get too caught up spending so much time on this. Don't build 10 clones that other people are walking you through. Learn the basics, build one or two apps that are similar to what you want to build, then build what you want to build. That's where just build it comes into play. You still don't know everything. I, hell, you hardly know anything, but at least you have everything set up and ready to go. Your IDE, your programming language of choice, and a very loose understanding of how an app is put together. That's all you need. Now it's time to start working on your project. Your project is preferably something simple or something that you can start out as simple. Because remember, you always want to launch an MVP first. That's a minimum viable product. So find the simplest form of your application, if it is a complex project, and just build it. And once you build that, you have it hosted on something like Hostinger or Linode, depends if it's a website or an app, or maybe you want to throw it on GitHub Pages. Because again, the sponsor of this video is Hostinger, but it's particular use case. I'm not saying put everything on Hostinger, but it is a very good, affordable place for shared web hosting. But if you want to have something simple and throw it up on GitHub pages, just to get started. That's an option too. I wouldn't recommend that for clients, of course. But then if you have a 
an in-depth web app, like a Mern application, like I'm building, I'm gonna be hosting that on Linode. You don't have to figure that out right now, but you wanna be able to have your MVP and then you can figure all of that out instead of trying to figure out this feature and that feature and that feature and that feature and adding that into your application before anyone had a chance to see your application. You could add a dozen different features before you make it live, but how do you know your customers or whoever it may be want those features? So again, get the minimum viable product, the simplest form of your complex application, if it is one, and then add your features as you go. It's a lot easier that way, trust me. So for now, just the MVP and just build it. Earlier in this video, I told you there's a secret to all this and that you won't like the answer to that secret. Because when I say just build it, that means get started. Set up the boilerplate of your application and when you don't know how to do something, look it up. Oh, you wanna do a login page, look that up. You wanna do a header, look that up. You gotta do a hero, look that up. You run into a problem, look it up. The secret, it's that you have to go through these growing pains. You can't hop into a hobby or a job and expect to be just as good as these veterans. You just have to embrace these moments and know that you'll be better once you come out the other side. Because the fact of the matter is, you aren't going to learn everything before you even start. And that's what people try to do. By taking courses or going through tutorials, they want to learn how to do it before actually doing it. It doesn't make sense when I say it out loud, does it? But to think you're going to understand how to build your own application by going through a tutorial or a course or 25 of them, but never actually building it on your own, it just doesn't work that way. And I understand, I understand more than most, trying to figure everything out before you get started to avoid any mistakes or any backtracking or anything like that. But the real way to figure these things out is by completing your own project. It's by making mistakes and backtracking and everything like that. So when I, or anyone else for that matter, says just build it, know that we aren't saying you should know everything before you just build it, or hardly even anything. You barely even know how to get started. But with everything I laid out in this video and you accepting that you have to go through these growing pains, that's all you need. So get out of here. Click the like button, close this video, and just build it.